this video we will be describing the knobs, buttons and functions of the ultrasound machine. This is otherwise known as knobology. There are many different types of ultrasound machines. However, the basic knobs and functions are the same across all machines. In this video, we will be using the Zanari Mindray Z6. This machine has three transducers. The curvy linear transducer, the linear array, and the phased array transducer. To start the scan, we need to turn the machine on. Next, we have to ensure that the transducer that we want to use is connected to the machine. With this machine, note the helpful color coding corresponding to both the transducer and its connector. If the incorrect transducer is plugged in, simply rotate the transducer connector knob anti-clockwise and remove the connector. Then, plug the correct connector into the socket and turn the knob clockwise. Next, on the keyboard, press the probe button. Use the trackball mouse on the keypad to select the correct transducer on the screen. Note that most machines will have a number of generic settings that can be used for a list of specific applications. In this case, we are going to choose the thyroid setting. Using the trackball mouse, move the pointer over thyroid and then press the set button. Note that the set button on this machine is equivalent to the standard left mouse button. The screen will now look like this and you're ready to start scanning. Note that there are a number of indicators on the screen that are worth a brief mention. On the right of the screen are a number of general settings. The application selected, in this case thyroid, the mode selected, in this case B mode, the frequency of the transducer, in this case 14 MHz, and the depth, 3.7 cm. On the other side of the screen is a column of other settings that can be changed if necessary. Please note that for the novice user, changing these settings is rarely required. When you select the specific application setting, in this case thyroid, the settings on the left of the screen are automatically adjusted to match the application that you have chosen. Advanced users will adjust these settings to optimize the image. Let's take a closer look at the keyboard knobs and buttons. We have already used the on button and also the probe button. We've used the trackball mouse and also the set button. On the right hand side of the keyboard is a panel that contains a number of sliders and knobs. TGC stands for Time Gain Compensation. These sliders can be used to change the gain in different depths of the screen. With the Auto Gain function of this machine, it is usually unnecessary to change these sliders. Auto Gain, or Eye Touch on this machine, is accessed by pressing down on the Gain button. Overall gain on the screen can be increased by turning the Gain button clockwise, and reduced by turning it anti-clockwise. Remember that increasing gain results in increasing brightness, but loss of contrast. Below the gain knob is the freeze button. This is used for freezing an image, for either closer inspection or for saving. Below the TGC slider are the focused, frequency, depth and zoom knobs. Simply press each button to select either focus or frequency or depth or zoom and then turn the knob to change the specific setting. For most novice users, the main knobs and buttons used will be the depth control knob, the gain control knob, and the freeze function button. Above the trackball mouse, there are a number of other buttons. Of these, the color button will be that used most frequently. This accesses the color flow Doppler function, resulting in areas where flow is away from the transducer as being blue, and flow towards the transducer is red. The B button accesses B mode. This is brightness mode and this is the standard default setting for the machine when scanning. The M button accesses M mode and this is sometimes used in both cardiac scanning and also lung scanning. There are numerous other buttons on this keyboard. 
most of which are unnecessary for the novice user. Full details can be accessed using this link to the Mindray Z6 Quick Guide. And this completes the Machine Knobology video.